Hey there, it's Simon Dadia, and a lot of people have been emailing me and messaging me recently about the difference between our residential proxy service and the a the Amazon AWS proxy service that I had recently told you about. So in this short video, I'm going to show you and explain exactly what the difference is, when you should be using the AWS proxy service and when you should be using the residential proxy service. So let's just look firstly at the AWS proxy service. Um, they, they are super fast. They're very, very clean. So they're not banned in Google in any which way, shape or form um, or any other site. Um, and one of my favorite parts about the whole Amazon proxy service that we provide that's already built into Browsio is that they're pay as you go and on demand. So you, you, you only pay for them when you use them, no matter how much you use them. So that means whether or not you upload a 10 gigabyte video to YouTube or a five megabit video to YouTube, the cost will be the same. It's based on how long you use them for, not the bandwidth or anything like that. Now the upside is they're very cost effective. You can upload a video, you can use a proxy for an hour, cost you a couple of pennies, and they're super, super fast. Very easy to use. Now the downside is, is that they're Amazon proxy, so it's very limited to the number of IPs that are gonna be available to you at any given time. And, an, and, and another issue that I have is that they come from the Amazon proxy service. Although they have a good reputation, they're still from the Amazon data center. So they're gonna be seen as data center proxies no matter what. You're gonna be seen as a bot or something like that and not residential. Now let's look at the residential proxy service and the reason why our proxy service is one of the best, if not the best available today and when you should be using them. So the residential proxies, are exactly how they sound. They are residential, so that means they come from real local ISPs, that's internet service providers, like you know Warner Brothers or AT&T or whoever is your local provider. Um, and it's a very easy thing for websites to tell that you're coming from a local internet service provider or whether or not you're coming from a data center. So if you're gonna be logging into any website or any social site or Google related site, they will know instantly if you're a real residential person sitting at home by a computer or if you're using a proxy server for some data center and are probably a bot. So in short, with residential proxies, you're a real person, a human, not a bot like with the data center proxies. So they're much more trustworthy. However, they do have their place and are required and 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 here's why so when should you use residential proxies well when you need to be a real person of course and not someone accessing a site via proxy like a bot for example um, when commenting on sites like YouTube GMVs Google my business sites reviews or any other normal marketing or social media or SEO activity that you're doing so basically all your active marketing needs to be done with residential proxies so what about the AWS solution or any other proxy server? Does that, does that make them irrelevant? In a way, yes, it does for a lot of things like we just discussed. If you want to appear as a real person on social media, you need to be accessing them like a real person on social media. So the, the Amazon AWS proxies and any other type of data center proxy for that matter that are not residential, what about them? There are many reasons that you would need normal proxies. For example, one would be the use of Limitless, which is our YouTube uploading tool. And if you're uploading, that's gonna take a lot of bandwidth and you're gonna want the fastest proxies available and clean. And AWS proxies are super fast, probably the fastest I've ever used. And there are no bandwidth limits. You know, any other SEO tools as well that require lots of bandwidth, they would be ideal for. Um, it makes sense using them if you're gonna be accessing a site using the API via a normal data center proxy. So you wanna be doing the bulk of your marketing, if not all of your marketing using residential proxies. And then whenever you're using tools via the API, like Limitless to upload to YouTube or any other marketing tools that require proxies, that generally use the APIs, you're gonna to wanna to be using AWS Amazon proxies or any other non-residential proxies, but I would just run with the Amazon proxies since you can use them on demand when you need them and switch them on, switch them off whenever you need. You don't need any, any kind of extra subscriptions. Now, our residential proxy service is very, very unique. It's, it's, it's different in so much as we've done deals with internet service providers 
with real ISPs for the use of their ISP name, their IPs, their branding. So in doing so, the IPs are much faster than other residential proxy providers that actually turn people's computers into zombies that route your traffic via their home PC. And the pool of usable proxies is much larger than any other residential proxy provider that I've ever used. Another major difference between our residential proxy service and other residential proxy services, the ability to have sticky residential proxies. So not only can you have a reverse residential system that's super clean and beautiful, Google friendly, you also get to allocate your own proxy for repeat use. So that means you can have sticky proxies that you use over and over again for your normal day-to-day -day marketing so that you're not using a completely different IP every single time you access a website. And this is very important, something no other residential services provider or proxy provider is doing at this level. And as it goes, we have a few positions available this month. You probably know the way that it works is that I prepay for the bandwidth and I'm very limited by that. So once the bandwidth is gone, we close. And unfortunately, I don't have an unlimited amount of bandwidth. I can only sell a certain number of gigabytes that I have access to. So the way that it works, is with gigabytes and not just the number of proxies you get like every other provider. What you do is, is you get 10 gigabytes for $75 and that gives you access to the entire pool of a half a million usable proxies across more than 30 countries. And you can literally pick on the fly which country you would like for either using the reverse proxies so that they refresh to a new IP on every single HTTP request. Or if you want sticky proxies, you get to access the entire pool. I can literally, I can literally pull, not the entire pool of proxies that they have, you're limited for the sticky IPs, but you can literally pull up to 50,000 IPs a day if you need them. And your only limitation is when your 10 gigabyte of bandwidth runs out. So let's just put that into perspective. There are only a handful of people who have taken anything more than the 10 gigabyte package. And I personally rarely go over 10 gigabyte myself and I use YouTube a lot. I do a lot of crowd searching, I do a lot of video review, viewing, um, reviews, that sort of thing. So 10 gigabyte is more than enough for almost all of you. And if you need more, there's a really easy upgrade option. And if you want to instantly upgrade, just send us an email, message me, we can do that very quickly, very, very easily. Um, so we have not actually opened up for months and months. And since people don't tend to cancel this service, um, we don't really open it up very often. But what we've recently done is upgraded to a slightly larger package. So this means we've got about 10 spots available because people have been requesting access to this service, plus three cancellations over the last two months or so. So we've got a total of 13 spots available. And if the last year of service is anything to go by, once those spots are taken, unless I get a much larger package, there are going to be no more spots available. Maybe one or two that come available here and there. And there is a waiting list. So unless someone drops off, which rarely happens, it's just not going to be available. So if you want to jump in now is the time. And I'm going to drop the link below the video so that you can go ahead and make that order and pick the package that you want. There's a drop down. It's very, very simple. Then once you've gone ahead and made the purchase, email me at proxy at Browsio with your transaction ID and PayPal email and we're going to get you set up ASAP. Um, just to, again, back to perspective, here is an example of the gigabytes used. So. As you can see, there's only one guy this month who's hit 17 gigabytes. He's obviously got a, a larger, um, a larger package, and there are a few others as well. Um, but as you can see, very few people go over and what's need more than 10 gigabyte. Okay, so again, if now's the time to jump in, the link's going to be below. Go ahead and click on the package that you need. There are four or five different options. And then once you've made the purchase, go ahead and email me at proxy at Browsio with your transaction ID and PayPal email, and we'll get you set up ASAP. And if you've got any questions, please just comment below.